Well, hopefully everyone is doing great out there after this incredibly boring week in the market. If you consider making 15 buys in a week to be boring, which probably also means you like to jump out of planes on fire or something crazy ridiculous like that. But the real question is, did I just try to catch a falling knife and make a huge mistake? Am I just crazy? Well, that's probably actually true, I probably am crazy. But we will cover the top stocks that made up 13 of those 15 purchases this week and we will discuss a brand new stock that is new to my portfolio. So please just hit that like button and subscribe if you like the truth without the hype. You will get no Neo to $100 by tomorrow predictions or Palantir or Tesla to $2 trillion next month or anything else on here like that. Now I have not bought anywhere close to this many stocks in a week since those May lows and that was part of my bigger plan that allows me to make 15 buys and still have dry powder left over. And the reason is simple. When there weren't a lot of stocks to buy according to my plan, I just pulled cash and bought some stocks here and there, but mostly I just pulled cash so when the big red days come like this past week, I can pounce. And there is still plenty of cash to do more pouncing. Now that doesn't happen without a plan and patience to wait for it. Now I will save the juicy new stock for last, but let's start off with a fun little stock many of you may not have heard of yet called Amazon. Okay, maybe all of you guys have heard of the Amazon, but it finally dropped down to my price target and I was able to add a few shares at $3,200 or so. And I know many of our members actually did better than that, but I was very happy with my buy at that price. And if Amazon continues the weekend, I will be buying more as it hits my next price target. And then if it continues the weekend further, I will continue adding as it hits those targets as well. Amazon is a great company and like Apple or Google or any of the great thing stocks, my plan for all of those is to continue to add when the valuation gets too fair valued. And of course those buys will be heavy if they hit undervalued levels. And if you don't know when a stock is overvalued or undervalued or how to create a valuation for a stock, we have courses and videos and live Q and A's where you can learn how to do that in the Market Insiders private group. You also get alerted in real time anytime I make any buys like the 13 we will discuss today you will also get my watch list complete with price targets and access to three courses for free and a ton more we will discuss at the end. And remember, I only promote this as I do not put ads in the middle of my videos and I have no sponsors and this is what YouTube pays me in an entire month. That's not a whole lot for 160 plus hours worth of work. So on to the next stock and that would be Tattoo Jeff. It just got clobbered after the big earnings missed despite the fact that in our discussions about the earnings call itself, it really wasn't that bad. So the group lit up with buys all over the place this week and I actually made five separate buys this week alone because Wall Street kept wanting to give me a discount. My biggest and best buy was in the $15 range and with the stock flirting with $17 already since then, I am sitting on a 5% gain on those shares so far. For those that missed that opportunity in the spring to buy in the $15 range, Tattooed Chef gave you an opportunity to buy in at a great discount this past week. So the next stock I bought, I only made one buy because my position is already built out, but the discount was just too good to not make another buy, and that stock would be Desktop Metals. This is why having your finances under control and keeping a nice cash position, you know, kind of between 10 to 30%, maybe even as high as 40% where I keep mine because I also buy real estate as well. But when you have cash, you can take advantage of incredible discounts on great stocks even if you have positions built out already. That's part of that whole infinite money loop thing we've talked about before on this channel. Either way, I bought shares in the $7 range and with 3D printing finally stops getting beat up as a sector, this will be one of the leaders out front when it turns around. And speaking of 3D printing, that leads me to the next stock I added huge to, and that would be Nano Dimensions. Another stock that has fallen out of favor, but it has been giving such a large discount that I had to finish out my position. The share dilution has hurt, especially since they have not put much of that money to use yet. But if management executes with that capital, I think this stock is a 3x to 5x stock in a few years from these levels. So to me, it made sense to finish out my position and just let it ride from here. So on to the last stock we will discuss today, and I am up 3% already on this stock, and this is a new stock to my portfolio. I looked at buying this stock last year, but determined it was way overvalued at the time. And then the people who did buy took the wild ride way up, then way down, and it's finally sitting at a much better valuation over a year later, and that stock would be Lemonade. And I actually made three different buys with my best buy being in the $66 range. 
This stock has fallen dramatically from its highs at almost $190 just a few months ago. I was able to almost build out my entire position, but if it continues to weaken over the next few weeks, I am ready to add more to this position. The bottom line is if you are buying with a plan, doing proper valuations, and buying great stocks that are in undervalued territory, for the long-term investor, you're not catching falling knives. You are picking up diamonds in the rough that need time, but return massively over the long run. And if you don't have a defined plan for your stocks, or you don't know how to value a stock, we can help you with all that as there is a course in the Market Insiders private group dedicated to that, along with creating an infinite money loop and other courses available as well, along with live weekly Q and A's where you can ask me basically anything, a great discord group, tons of exclusive videos, downloads, and more, all for the price of a meal for two at McDonald's. Consider it a cheap date that went really well. So check that out. It's the first link in the description in the pinned comment. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.